Hey animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful My Mirror tips within 5 minutes. Today we're doing eye movements. Let's start. This tutorial was a suggestion from my comment section on the previous On The Go episodes. If you have any tutorials you want to see, drop your suggestions in the comments box so I can make it in the future. Now I've got this animation project here, you can consider that a spoiler, but what I want is animate the eyes. And for that I'm gonna need some audio because I need to hear the characters and how they say things so I can animate the eyes accurately. Oh man, those red ones. This mood is not particularly happy or exciting, so I'm gonna close his eyes down a little bit. And the word man is exaggerated, so I'm gonna close his eyes a little bit more, and when he says man, I'm gonna open them up, and then close them back down. On the word man, his eyes are gonna open up a little bit more. Then he makes a turn with his head, so I'm gonna make him blink while he's doing the turn. When he opens his eyes again, I'm gonna make him open up even more, because the mood is now lifted and he is happier. Let's take a look. Oh man, those red ones are... Now the eyebrows. Now bear with me, it is difficult to explain motion in a such a short video like this, so I'm just covering the basics. Again, not so hyped mood, so I'm gonna make it seem like he's struggling with the thinking process. And I'm not going to keep the eyebrows identical. If you mirror their action, it seems more stiff. They should be independent. Oh man. And when he looks up, he's looking sideways and upwards. So I want to emphasize that with his eyebrows as well. So this eyebrow is going to be lifted up. This eyebrow is going to be squashed down a little bit. And I think that's it. Oh man, those red ones. Okay, but when your character actually comes alive is when you add the pupils. The pupil motion gives it all the life and all the energy. This is the most crucial step with animating a face. So he's scratching his head and the mood isn't high. So I'm gonna make him look down left into the floor, thinking. And after a while, I'm gonna make him move his eyebrows a little bit. Makes it look like he's thinking and focusing on other things on the floor. That is how your eyes you naturally move. When you fall into that thinking zone, you're gonna tend to focus on little objects on the floor. That's what he's doing right now. His head is turning, so I'm gonna make him keep focus on that one object. Switch focus somewhere else. Keep the focus there. And when he blinks, want his eyes to already move up onto the target. Oh man, those red ones. He seems way more alive than at the start, right? In this shot, the character is very far away and the camera is gonna be blurry, so I don't feel the need to animate the eyes here. So let's move on. And we got a different character right here. I feel like I gotta mention this. This is from the Hermitcraft series. I'm a huge fan, and that's also why I'm animating a short from the series as well. Let's take a listen. Hey, I'll create I wanna make him open his eyes a little bit, and when he says really small, it's gonna close down. When he emphasizes something, such as really small, I want the eyes to follow that motion as well. So he squints them down a little bit, then he relaxes them back, and when he starts saying 1.5 blocks being a smarty, smarty pants, I'm gonna make him close his eyes. And since he's still looking up here, let's continue with the position of the eyebrows. And when he looks back at his friends, he has a neutral motion. And when he says really small, it's like he's delivering bad news. That's why I want to make his eyebrows appear a little bit sad. And at the end, he's trying to be all smart. So I'm gonna raise his eyebrows up. I can make these come a bit closer, have a more intense transition, small tweaks. You are going to listen to that audio a million times and you're gonna hate it. That's my wisdom for you. Now, since the pupils are usually the driving force, so first your pupils look somewhere, then your head's gonna turn that way, and then your body is going to fixate on it. That's the hierarchy. The pupils are always first. That's why I'm gonna make his pupils move down already. Just try to avoid looking directly into the camera because that feels a little bit awkward. And when he looks down, just make him fixate his eyes on his friends. When he says really small, I wanna make him pay attention to the other friends so his eyes are always moving and when he says small he's gonna check in on the other friend again because he's talking to two different people and when he says they are I'm gonna make him look up and be the smarty pants and if you compare this to the beginning it makes a big difference. Now sadly, that is all I have time for today, so I hope I was able to give you a little insight on how to animate the face, and I hope you learned something from this episode. Now thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay sharp.